So now we're going to take a look at the menu item attribute. Now there's quite a few things you can do with this. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below to the Unity documentation on it. But I do want to show you a couple of really cool things you can do with it. So let's go ahead, we'll jump into some code. And I've set up two examples. Now the first thing to note is that menu item does require the Unity editor namespace. And it only works on static methods. So in this first example, all we're doing is going ahead and creating a new menu at the top of the screen. And I'm just going to call it BZA. There's going to be a submenu. And inside that submenu, I'm going to go ahead and put this entry into it. And I'm also adding a hotkey to it. Now hotkeys are covered on the documentation page, which I will be linking to. But for this particular hotkey, we have shift, then control or command, depending on what operating system we're on, and W. So instead of going to the menu system, I can use the hotkey. Let's go ahead and we'll take a look at this. So I go up to the top, here's that menu I created, here's my sub menu, and here is the entry. So clicking that, we'll bring it up, and also using the hotkey. Now you can also use this to add components into other menus if you wish. Simply follow the same naming structure for where you want to put it in the menuing system. Now one of the other things you can do with the menu item is go ahead and actually add components into the context menu for well, basically all the components that Unity has access to. So for this example here, we're gonna go into the context menu of all rigid bodies, and we're gonna add this entry to it. And of course, any code you wanna actually put in there as well. In this case, I'm just gonna debug log out the name of the object. So let's go ahead, we'll jump in. We'll select an item with a rigid body. We'll go ahead and we'll take a look. And here it is, of course, if we click it, we get told that the method was called on the cube. Now take note that it's not attached to this in any way. It's, it just shows up in all the rigid body menus. So if we actually went ahead and created another object here, let's go ahead, we'll create a, oh, let's just do a capsule. We'll add a rigid body to it. And in its context menu, there we go. 